A Kenyan villager undergoes an eye test by smartphone. The phone's camera flashlight illuminates her retina, allowing the tester to check for cataracts, glaucoma and other diseases. High definition photographs of her eye are then emailed to London's Moorfields Eye Hospital for further analysis. The portable eye examination kit, PEAK for short, is the brainchild of a team which includes Dr Andrew Basterhouse. The team is conducting a trial across rural Kenya, trying to find and treat hard to reach patients. They're very difficult to find, they're very, very difficult to take trained personnel or expensive equipment to. Um, and they're reluctant to come to main cities and hospitals to receive treatment, either because of barriers such as cost or, or fear. Um, and so developing an app on a phone allows the healthcare worker to go to the patient. The team says diagnosis using phone images of patient size compare favourably with that made by conventional clinic-based equipment. Letters appearing on the screen act as a basic vision test chart. In addition, the phone can store patients' records and for follow-up visits, their location is tracked by its GPS. At the trial's midway point, a thousand patients have received treatment, including John Kipkamoy. I just heard about this program and I decided to come over and get my eyes checked. This is basically why I'm here today. The World Health Organization says 280 million people worldwide are visually impaired. 39 million of them blind, and many unnecessarily so, says Basterhaus. 80% of eye diseases that cause blindness could be avoided, um, and the majority of those people who are blind live in low-income countries such as Kenya, so that's 90%. The problem is usually getting the patient to the surgeon to do the operation. So where do they live, how do we find them? They're, those are the challenges. So developing an app like this allows us to connect those two. Basterhaus says eye doctors in Africa and northern India currently operate at less than 40% of their capacity. He believes that by helping track down remote patients, PEAK could vastly reduce rates of avoidable blindness among the rural poor.